Speaking of gloves, Michelle, I must say <laughs> I've had to carry some gloves in yes. my work bag with these past cold nights that we've had. I know it's been a little chilly, hasn't yeah. it? And trying to get home and then you kind of snap back to the 60s so one afternoon and heat versus AC. I know it's been a little bit of a challenge, but we have some warming up to do. And I think we're going to be able to not necessarily get rid of the heat quite yet, but we are at least getting rid of those freezing temperatures. Taking a look out there right now, we're under a ridge of high pressure. Beautiful at this hour. We've got some clouds off the coast and some scattered showers that are sitting up over the Midwest. And because we're under this ridge of high pressure, it's acting as this really beautiful, stable bubble for us. And so it keeps us sunny. It keeps us dry and almost too dry over the next several days, too. So your weekend outlook, the rest of it right now overnight, we've got morning lows that are above freezing and it's chilly. Of course, we're setting our clocks back by one hour and a few clouds for you tomorrow through Sunday brunch with temperatures that are in the upper 60s. Sunday afternoon, we're really looking at that forecast that takes temperatures into the upper 60s and low 70s across most of the Piedmont Triad. More sunshine for you too. And even in the Piedmont Triad through the foothills, I'd expect to see a few of those low 70s. Really nice to have that ridge with us and overhead. So beautiful weather, although we're beginning to cool right now from those temperatures that we had today in those upper 60s, we are still comfortable. 72 uh, for high so far in the Raleigh area. Let's take a quick look at those temperatures area wide. 60 degrees in Sparta, we've got you at 64 up in Elkin with also Rhonda, 63 Moravian Falls. We step back a little bit farther to the east over Bethania, you're at 68 degrees. Clemens, you're at 65. Smith Grove, right around 64. And you're seeing temperatures in most of the Piedmont Triad as we head east at UNCG, 68 degrees, 64 Puff Town right now. So very comfortable weather. Now we see the active systems that are trying to roll our way. We just don't have a whole lot of moisture to work with. We notice the Pacific Northwest is bringing in some rain for folks there, but even ahead of it, it's so dry. We've got dry conditions set up across much of the East Coast. These dew point temperatures down in the teens for us, and you've probably been reaching for the hand cream a little bit more and drinking a little bit more water, hopefully staying more hydrated because of the dry conditions that are in place. You see that in the mid and upper levels too, a lot of dry air tapping into over, right over the Gulf. Instead of pack, picking up some of that moisture and moving it our way, we've got such dry weather. That'll help to keep clear skies for the most part. And overnight, we've got a few clouds, but still we're on the chilly side, not as cold as we were this morning. You made it down to 32 degrees in Greensboro, 26 in Burlington, 26 out there in Reed. So we've got a little bit of a light wind that will help us out. We also are seeing this air mass finally moderate. Highs today made it to 70 degrees in Greensboro, 71 Winston-Salem. Typical highs at 65 degrees. So we'll take a five degree temperature bump, certainly after after such a cold stretch this week for those morning lows. It's been cold. We also have an increased fire danger concern today. We have been under that high risk, very high in the foothills. And we now add to that tomorrow going under the very high risk area for folks from Moxville through Lexington and High Point. We have been watching some of those Hendersonville fires and also that flow with that ridge of high pressure in place, bringing in some flow of that particulate matter, keeping us in the moderate category for particulate concerns for PM level. So if you have asthma, air quality concerns or something you want to check in on over the next couple of days, in part because of some of those fires in this very stagnant air mass. We also are noticing as we fall back, we want to check our carbon monoxide detector batteries, our smoke detector batteries, and making sure you have indoor CO detectors really uh, checked out and make sure that they're actually installed. If you're using propane heaters, any other varieties of natural gas. You definitely want to make sure you're prepared. Autumn time change, of course, happens overnight. We are setting our clocks back by one hour. And a reminder, it means sunrises at 647 and setting at 521 tomorrow night. So we won't see the sun up likely as you're heading out of work most of the days this week and heading through the winter. Time change happens overnight at 2 a.m. Look at those highs, upper 70s all through middle of the week.